Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will understand a program which will take a year from the user and it will check whether that year is leap year or not. So these are some of the sample outputs. So our program should ask for a year from the user and let's say we enter 2020. So you know this year is a leap year. So we should get that 2020 is a leap year. And let's say we enter a year 2021. Then our program should say 2021 is not a leap year. And let's say if we enter 1800, then this is not a leap year. So we should get the appropriate message. And similarly, 1600 is a leap year. So we should get the appropriate message. Now you may be thinking that any year which is completely divisible by 4 is a leap year. But here if you can see 1800 is also divisible by 4 and 1600 is also completely divisible by 4. But 1800 is not a leap year and 1600 is a leap year. So what is the problem? That means what are the actual conditions for detecting a year as leap year? So let's see all those conditions. Now before moving forward, let me tell you that I have a bonus tip at the end of this video for this program. So I would recommend that you should watch this video till the end. So we all know that a leap year has 366 days. That is in that year, February month will have 29 days instead of 28 days. And many of us know that leap year is divisible by 4 completely. That means on dividing the year by 4, we get remainder as 0. So these are the examples of the leap years, but these are not leap years. So 2021 is not divisible by 4. But here if you see 1700 and 1800, both these years are divisible by 4, but they were not leap years. So since our childhood, we have understood that any year which is divisible by 4 is a leap year. But here that definition seems to be wrong. Actually, this condition that is divisibility test by 4, this is true, but this is true according to Julian calendar. And according to that calendar, this condition is true only for non-century years. For century years, this condition is not valid. So after Julian calendar, there came another calendar that is Gregorian calendar. And according to this calendar, you have to first check whether a year is century year or not. And after that, you can proceed forward. So century year is a year which is completely divisible by 4. That means on division by 100, it should give remainder as 0. Or you can say any year which ends with double zeros, they are the century years. For example, these are the century years. So like 100, 200, 1600, 1700, all these are completely divisible by 100. So these are the century years. So Gregorian calendar said ki, this divisibility test, that is divisibility by 4, this test is also true, but this is true only for non-century years. That is those years which are not completely divisible by 100. And for century years, there should be some another condition for the leap year. So Gregory calendar says century year will be a leap year when it is divisible by 400. So in short, we can say Gregorian calendar is actually equal to Julian calendar plus century year concept. And Julian calendar says for non-century years, this divisibility test is true. And for century years, you have to divide them by 400. If they are divisible by 400, then you can say that century year is a leap year. Otherwise, no. So this is the summary of the thing that we have discussed till now. So we have to first check whether our year is century year or not. A century year will be a leap year if it is divisible by 400. And non-century year is leap year only if it is divisible by 4. So here, whatever we have discussed, I have shown that in the form of diagram. So here, if you see, I am first checking whether my year is century year or not. So for that, you can just divide a year by 100. And if it is completely digital, that is, it is giving 0, then you can proceed forward. Now, that century year can be a leap year or not. So if that year is a century year, then you are coming to this true path. Correct? And under true path, you can see that finally we are getting that year can be a leap year or it cannot be a leap year. The same way, if year is not a century year, that means we will come to this false. And under false also, you can see that a year finally can be a leap year or it cannot be a leap year. So if a year is a leap year, then we will come to this true path and then we will come to this condition. That is, we have to again check whether that year is divisible by 400 or not. So if year is divisible by 400, we will come to this true path and we will say that year is a leap year. But if a year is not divisible by 400, we will come to false path and we will say it is not a leap year. Now in the similar manner, if a year is not a 
century year that means we will come to this false part and here we have to apply the same logic that is we will just divide that year by 4 if it is divisible by 4 it is a leap year and if not then we will come to this false path and we will say it is not a leap year. Now many of us was knowing only this condition that is divisibility test by 4 since our childhood but just we have added one more condition that is just check whether a year is century year or not and then only you should proceed forward. So I hope you have understood the logic. Now let's see the program for this question. So this is the same diagram that we have just discussed and this is our program and here I have taken a year of type integer as year can only be an integer type and after that I can scan the value inside this year variable using scanner. So now after that I will write my logic. So here if you see I have used if and else. So inside if if you see I have written year mod 100 equal equal 0. That means if a year is completely divisible by 100 or not. So if this condition becomes true then you know we will come to the body of the if. And if this condition becomes false, we will come to the else part and we will enter inside the else body. So if you relate this if and else with this diagram, you will see that this true path will be your if part and this false part will be your else part. Now inside this true part that is inside this if part, we are again checking this condition that is divisibility test by 400. That means if this is true, we are coming to a leap year. Otherwise, we are saying not leap year. So that means inside our this if we have to print leap year and not leap year conditions both. And here are those conditions. So if a year is century year, that is divisible by 100, then you come inside and you check if that year is divisible by 400. If yes, then that year is a leap year. Otherwise, that is not a leap year. So this you can say this is your if part. And this f is your else part. So these are like nested if else. Now in the similar manner we can complete this else part also. So here if you see this is your else part and inside else again you are checking that year is divisible by 4 or not. So if a year is not a century year then we are dividing that by 4 and then we are saying okay if it is true that year it will be a leap year. Otherwise that will not be a leap year. So I hope you have understood the logic. And if you are not comfortable with if else and nested if else then you can watch one of my video in which I have discussed these all if else nested if else. You can find that link in the description or in the i button also. So now let's run this program on some example. So let's say if you run 2016 and this is a leap year. So if you divide 2016 by 100 you will get remainder as 16. So that means 2016 is not a century year. So you will come to this else part. And here you will divide it by 4 and as you know 2016 is completely divisible by 4. So you will say this condition is true. So you will come to this and you will say it is a leap year. And then you will come to this return 0 which will be written here. Now let's say if you enter a century year. So for example you enter 1600. So you know 1600 will be divisible by 100. It will give us a remainder 0. So you will come to this if part. Now you will divide 1600 by 400. So again it will be completely divisible. So this condition will be true and you will say that 1600 is a leap year and after that you will come to return 0. You will not go to else because this if was true. And finally let's say if you enter 1800 and this is a century year but it is not a leap year. So you will check this condition and 1800 will be divisible by 100 completely. So this condition will be true and now you will come inside and you will check this condition. You will divide by 400 and on division you will get remainder as 200. So that means 200 is not equal to 0. So you will come to this else part and you will say that this 1800 is not a leap year and then you will come to return 0. So I hope you have understood the program that how it is working. Now let's run this program into our IDE. So this is the program that we have just discussed. So let's run this program. So let's say I entered 1600 and this is a century year and it is also a leap year. So yes we are getting it is a leap year. Now let's say you enter 1800. So this is again a century year but it is not a leap year because it is not completely divisible by 400. So yes it is not a leap year. And let's say now you enter 2020. So this is not a century year but it is a leap year because it is completely divisible by 4. So yes we got it is a leap year. So now finally it's time for the bonus tip. 
and the bonus tip is you can check the condition of leap year in just one line so as you know century year can be a leap year when it is divisible by 400 and for non century year it should be divisible by 4 so this was the program that we have just discussed and here we have used the nested if else so this program looks very lengthy so what we can do is i can just use simple if and else and inside if body i can print it is a leap year and inside else i can say that year is a not leap year so i have to write some condition inside if such that this if body gets through and i come to this leap year so i will actually write all these conditions which are written here all these divisibility test here inside if in just one line and how i can do that this is the way that i can do this thing so here inside if i have used logical and and logical or operator and this divisibility test by 4 and divisibility test by 100 is written inside this bracket completely using logical and and after or i am checking by 400 so actually this condition says that if a year is not a century year but it is a leap year then i will come to this if body and i can also come inside this if body if this condition gets satisfied so this condition says if a year is a century year and it is a leap year so this or says any condition can be true and i can come inside else body and if both the condition becomes false then i will come to not leap year so let's say if i take the example of 2020 so 2020 is divisible by 4 so it will give us 0 and 0 is equal to 0 so this is true and after that i will divide it by 100 so this 2020 is not divisible by 100 so i will get here something other than 0 so this condition will become false but this not is saying to make it true so this condition will again true so true and true will be true and i will come to if body and i will say this is a leap year and you also know that 2020 is not a century year but it is a leap year now let's say if you take an example of a century year and it is also a leap year so this is 1600 so let's see 1600 divided by 4 it will give me 0 so that means this whole condition will become true but here 1600 is divisible by 100 so again this condition will become true so here i will get true and this not will make it false so this end will say true and false will be false so now i have to go to this year divided by 400 and 1600 is divisible by 400 so here i will get true so in our case i am getting false and true so i will say the whole condition of the if will be true and i will say it is a leap year now finally let's take last example let's say you take 1800 so you know 1800 is a century year but it is not a leap year so from our first program you know 1800 is divisible by 100 but it is not divisible by 400 so i come to else part and i will say not a leap year so the same way if you divide 1800 by 4 it will be divisible so i will get true here and if you divide by 100 you will get true here but this not will make it false so this true and false will be total false now i have to go to this part also so here if you divide 1800 by 400 so this will not be true so here i will get false so now finally false or false will be false and i will come to the else part so i will say it is not a leap year so we can say our program is working fine so let's run this in our ide so here is this program so let me run it let's say we enter 1600 so yes it is a leap year and if we enter 1800 so it is not a leap year so yes so that means my program is working fine and if you want to make this program using macro also you can do that so i will remove this condition from here and you can write any macro name so i have taken is leap and i am passing the year to this macro so this is leap is my macro and it is taking the year as the argument and here i have written the macro expansion so here i will call this macro is leap and i am passing the year so during pre-processing the preprocessor will expand this macro using this definition and for the compiler this program then will look similar as we have just discussed so let me run it so if you enter let's say 1600 yes it is leap year and if you enter 1800 it is not a leap year so in the same way you can check for the another years also so i hope you have understood the logic and you are now compatible with the logic of the leap year for more such practice problems, you can check my playlist practice programs in C language on my channel. There you will find a lot of practice problems with complete explanations. I have another playlist also C programming for beginners in which I have covered C language 
from beginning to end you can also check that on my channel so if you have any comment query or suggestion please write down in the comment box and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon also see you in the next video till then goodbye